as that Englishman in Texas, uh, and I get more settled here in Texas, I've been trying to get out there and look for those quintessential Texas experiences. And the great part is so many have been reaching out with fantastic suggestions. You know, great things like, would well, you want to come out on the ranch? Do you want to learn how to ride? All sorts of stuff. I've got a cool muscle car, anything like that? Yeah. I'm on. Well, I was actually just down in Fredericksburg. In fact, I've got a whole series of videos that I'm going to be posting from down there because we've got up to so much. Well, we were invited down by the About Town Wine Experience. Paul and Amy, they were like, well, I tell you what, if you come down, we can show you around Fredericksburg, some great wineries, some great distilleries. We'll get you some great food here or there. And we're like, yeah, that sounds great. But then they followed it up with, well, also, Ollie, would you, um, would you like to meet some Longhorns? Yes. Yes, I would. Eat out of your hand. What? I need a handsome. You, sir, are a Texan. <laughs> And see the trees, they can run through them full steam. They just move their head, just good, 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 good. Really? They really can move. Here, Bubba. Oh, no. Me go. Yeah, she, like, he loves it when the band takes it. Hey, my baby. Here. Want some? Oh, yeah. Look at you. You're a handsome fella. That's amazing. As big as you think they look as you're driving past, trust me, when you're standing next to them, they are absolutely gargantuan. There was one or two that were basically the same height as me. So six foot, essentially, I was wearing shoes. I'm five foot 11, but if I'm wearing shoes, I'm six foot, all right? So just get past it. If I was on Tinder, I'd be in loads of trouble. Nobody would want to date me because I'm five eleven. But fortunately, I've been married for 16 years. But I digress. My neighbor James is a very tall fellow. So you can get an idea for just how big these guys are. Especially this one. I think I've only seen a couple on the side of the road when driving. Other than that, seen pictures. This is the closest I've ever been up. And they're incredible because you feed them, but you've got to step back. Because once they take it, they're like, whoa, whoa. She's beautiful. I love the little babies, but they're real skittish. They'll never let you. Right. There's a little red one here. Get her side. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm saying hello, because you're so pretty. <laughs> wow. It's insane. Like, seriously, their horns are gargantuan. I understand you know that. They're called long horns, Ollie. This guy has about 90 inches to 90? Wow. And I processed one uh, about a year and a half ago. 94 and a half inches tip to tip. That's insane. <laughs> So he's saying that he's been uh, raising cattle for almost as long as I've been alive, since 1984. He knows what he's talking about. On the list of most Texan experiences I've ever had, this might be top. If you haven't had the experience of meeting Longhorns, I tell you what, if you want to, check out About Town Wine Experience in Fredericksburg because they may give you the opportunity to get up close and personal with them. It was fun. Yeah, no. She's awesome, yeah.